Hello all and welcome to another tutorial by Happy Cloud Solutions. So today we will be looking at how to view the Docker image, how to run it, and how to push it to an Azure Container Registry. So firstly, we're going to start by dockerizing this simple website that I've created using a node project. So for those who don't know how to create a Docker file, it's easy with Visual Studio Code. You just go to View, Command Palette, and then you click Add Docker Files to Workspace. If you don't see it here, you can always type Docker, and then it brings out all the options for Docker. And you click Node.js, because I'm currently using package.json, and you choose the ports. Select yes. I'm just going to stop this because I was running this locally. All right. So now it has created the Docker file. And I mean, the Docker lines mean a lot of things from the first line, meaning that it establishes the foundation image for the new image. And it, it basically enables us to create new ones based on the old ones. Um, the working directory talks about, it defines the working directory for further Docker file instructions. And, you know, all the way down to exposing um, port 3000 on line seven. But let's go right into, you know, building the images and seeing this work. All right, so now um, I would begin by building the Docker image. And I'm just going to give my image a name called Cookies Form, because that's what it's about. All right, Docker build hyphen T cookies hyphen form. And I would say, File, Docker file, and dot. All right, so now we wait, it's currently building. That's a good sign when you see blue instead of red. <laughs> I know. All right, so we wait for the image to build, and when it is done, we'll see build successfully done. So after that, the next thing will just be to basically list the image to see that the image has been, you know, successfully built and is now showing in our Docker environment. For you to run this also, it's important that you have Docker installed on your system and it is currently running. So right now I have Docker desktop running on my system and it's enabling me to run docker commands. So now that we're done building this image, I'll click docker image list. And these are like a lot of images from what I've created, but I'm just going to scroll up, scroll up, and then we should see the cookies form. That's the first one, the cookies form. So this shows that it's been created. So now the next thing that we'll do is to run this on port 3000. And to do that, docker run hyphen D hyphen P specifies the port 3000, 3000. And I called it cookies form. So we press enter. So this shows that it's currently running and I just want to list my containers and then it to show, you know, if it's the status of the container. So Docker container list. All right. So you see the first one here, cookies form. It shows that it was created 17 seconds ago and it's up from 15 seconds. Yeah, because I just created it right now. So let's see what we've done. Let me go to my local host 3000. And if I click that, I should see the cookies form. So right now, the cookies form um, image has been built. It's been, you know, enabled to run and published on port 3000. And now we can save here. 
yes you actually cannot order real cookies here sorry about that all right so let's go back so the next thing we'll be looking at now is how to push this to an azure container registry note that to be able to do this you have to have a docker you know an azure subscription first of all and then you have to have created a container registry so now let's go to azure um here i have created an azure container registry and to be able to do some set things as an admin you have to enable admin user so now you've enabled your admin user the next thing to do is to log in to the container registry so to do that you have to copy the login server url and come back here and then you go to your vs code and type docker login and then you paste the link that you just copied all right and then hyphen username so you can go back there pick your username and password so I mean, it's normally advisable that you do not, you know, make your password visible on VS Code. So this is just for a tutorial. So VS Code, password, and then we click enter. So you see it says warning, using password via the CLI is insecure. So for a production environment, you won't want to do this. So it shows that a login has been succeeded. So now the next thing that we want to do is to, you know, be able to push this image to Docker Container Registry. And to do that, we have to create a new version of an image. So firstly, we're going to do use Docker tag to enable us to do that. All right, Docker tag cookies hyphen form, because that's what we call the image that we built. And then I'm just going to come back here and copy my server URL and go back here. So that's your container registry and then a slash. You give your image another name. So here I'm going to say cookies hyphen form version two so basically i'm now creating another version so if you want to you know do an image or you don't want to you want to maybe update an image without affecting the old one all you have to do is just to create another version and so i click enter that has been done and so now the next thing is we're going to push the image to the container registry so the command is docker push the registry as this and the new image that I just created, the version two, hyphen form v2. All right, so let's do that. I was going through the process now and pushing it to Docker container registry. So we're doing that, doing that. I'm just going to give that some time. Um, for people who do not have an Azure subscription and don't want to pay for it, there is a way to go, th there's a way to get a um, free subscription from Azure. You can basically sign up for the Azure free subscri subscription and the container registry is one of the services of Azure that comes for free. So you can definitely jump on that to do this test and test your knowledge, you know, as you go through this tutorial. So we wait for that to be done. And the next thing will basically be to run the image from the Azure Container Registry because we want to make sure we're not running from our local system. So to do that, we're going to do Docker run. First of all, we have to kill the one that is currently running because if we try to run on the same port, it's not going to allow that to happen. 
So firstly, I'm going to do Docker container list. I'm going to take container ID for this. So what I want to do is I want to stop the one that was running before and also want to remove it from my local system so that whenever I run it, I'm sure that it's running from the Azure container registry and not from the local. So Docker kill and then Docker RM. All right, so now I'm also gonna do Docker image list so I can also remove the um, Docker image. And I'm gonna do that by taking the image ID. All right, so this is it. Copy. I'm here, Docker RMI, and then you put the ID. All right, so it's saying that an image is in multiple repositories. So yes, this is good. So it's important that because we created the second one with V2, version V2, and then pushed it to Azure, it's showing that it's in multiple repositories. So to be able to do this, you have to force it. And to force it, all you have to do is to put a false flag. And this is how you do that. All right, so now it's been deleted. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run from the um, container registry. So we copy the URL, go back, Docker, run, hyphen D, hyphen P, 3000, 3000, and URL slash cookies hyphen form v2. So you see it says unable to find it locally, and then it went and downloaded the image from the registry in Azure. And that is perfect. That's what we wanted it to do. So now let's test this again. Load the image. And yes, when you reload the image, you see it's still running on 3000. But right now, it is not running from our local image, but it is running from it is running from the Azure Container Registry where we pulled the image. So I hope this, you know, was very educative and you were able to, you know, learn a new skill and pick a thing or two. If you have questions, you can always leave it in the comment section, and I'll be ready and very happy to answer your questions. Thank you.